And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, today we're taking a look at a game called Tac Tac. This is a two-player strategy game and has a kind of a cool box where you pull it out like this and the pieces are stored inside, except they're not because they're on the table right now. This is a game where you're moving forward. You can never move back. You are jumping on opponent's pieces, taking control of them. I'm not sure there's anything here that we haven't seen before in an abstract game, but maybe not in this combo. Let's see if it's fun. When playing this game, each player starts with different pieces. You actually have here 12 pieces, three colors, 10, 20, 30, and 40 of each of the colors, and you'll place them on your side of the board. You can place them in any configuration that you want. Then one player goes first and you go back and forth until the game ends. Now in the basic game, you end when one player can no longer make a move. In the advanced game, which is what you should play, that's also a way to end the game. But more likely than that, when one player no longer has any pieces in the attack zone, the game is over. So your first move will be moving into the attack zone. After that, if you ever don't have a piece in the attack zone for any reason, the game will instantly end. Uh, so when a player goes, they can move their piece. The piece can move to the three spots in front of it. So this 10 here can move here, here, or here. You can move on top of another piece, and then those pieces are forever linked together. But you can only move on top of another piece if you are either the same color or the same number. So I can move this one here, this one here, or this one here, because these two are 10s and this one is yellow. After that, you'll simply be moving things as a stack. You can jump on top of your opponent's piece by attacking them the same way if you are the same number or the same color. Now, you can only attack your opponent in the middle section while you can move into your own pieces on your own board. Again, the game is going to end when there's one player has no longer has pieces in the middle. At that point, your score is the total of all the chips in your opponent's section. So if they don't get some of their chips out, like these chips are now, those chips aren't going to, they're going to score for you. And all the chips that you manage to get in there are going to score for you. Highest point total is the winner. Tac Tac is a very quick game, which I think is one of the strong points of it. Also, the quality of these chips is very nice. They're, they're sturdy plastic. They stack easy. It's easy to tell the colors apart. They put green, but not red. Thank you for that. Um, I would have also probably done different shapes for the colors too. Like this one's in a diagonal, I would have put a circle around it, again, for ease of differentiating them, but not a big deal. Um, the 40 pieces are obviously your strongest pieces because you want them out of your zone and you want them in your opponent's zone. And getting a big stack and moving that into your opponent's area can be the difference between winning or losing. The game is sort of like checkers in a way where you'll move a piece and say, do you want to capture that piece? But if you capture that piece, then I'm going to capture the piece that you captured it with and go back and forth. And I think that's interesting, and I think if, even though you're not jumping pieces in this game, it does have a bit of a feel of checkers to it, where it's moving pieces and jumping on top, and you're basically just moving forward across the board. Uh, there's that, the, again, the advanced version, which I think should be the only version people play, the idea of moving a piece out of the middle and essentially ending the game. You just have to kind of remember, there's a tiny bit of memory on which pieces are on which stack, Although, that's not too bad since, again, there's only 1 to 4, I mean, 10, 20, 30, 40 of each of the three colors. So you can kind of look around the board to see what is where. It's fast. It's simple. It's entertaining. I don't know that I would want to play this all the time. I think it's just a decent abstract strategy game for two players. But it is something that is quick and over with. On my first initial play of it, I was, eh, I said, ah, I don't really like it that much, but... The second play, I was like, oh, okay, I'm getting it now. It's starting to make more sense. And I did enjoy the fact of how quick it was. So nothing novel here. Jumping on top of other pieces, making a big stack. Although making big stacks is very satisfying. But there is something to be said. The initial setup matters a little bit. I mean, the rule book makes it sound like there's millions of combinations. Yeah, there is. But, you know, there's only, there's not that many different combinations that, in reality. 
but just moving across the board quickly at a pace, trying to outthink your opponent a little bit. As long as you don't take this game too seriously and play it as a lighter abstract game, I think you can have fun with it. That's Tac Tac. Dice Tower Judgment approved. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Stay